Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to my Premier League prediction for the 2021 and 2022 season. Now, before we start this video, I just want to say this is all my personal opinion based on the transfer that was made and based on the gameplay, the season they had last year. So without further ado, let's just jump straight in to the prediction. Alright, we have the tier list here. First one's champions, second one's qualification for the Champions League, top four. Qualification for the UEFA competition from 5th to 7th, maybe mid table, threatened by relegation, but just staying up and relegated. Bottom 3. Now I will list it from the top to the bottom, so let's just start. First one, the champion. I mean, like, all of you must have agreed. No, not all of you, most of you. Uh, this club has made one of the biggest signing this transfer window. I guess it is very easy to put this club in the champions. Yup. <laughs> No, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Now, I really want Arsenal to win the champions, but let's just be honest, that's not going to happen because, because we are dog shit right now. So, the team that is going to win the Premier League for this season is Man City. Now, they just signed Jack Grealish, and probably they're going to sign Harry Kane, I don't even know, but if they do, no one is going to touch them, they are going to win the Premier League if they sign Harry Kane. If not, they will find a way to, you know, Stable himself in the top league. I mean, like it's Pep Guardiola. He made Gundogan to score 13 goals last season without Aguero. Aguero is out. Like it's still good. They're still good, and they still won the Premier League. So I think Man City, the first place. I'm happy with that. Now for the second place, this club. I really hate to say it, but it has to be Chelsea with the signing they made this season. Uh, by the time I was recording this video, Romeo Lukaku just officially signed for Chelsea so that is a big doubt for this club alright with the manager itself Thomas Tuchel they just won the Champions League they just won the what was this the Super League not the Super League the UEFA Super League with the VRL I think that's a huge step to you know progress themselves to the top league now the problem they had last season is no one to finish the chance they had Warner is not a flaw but it could have been done better than that so with Romelu Lukaku in Chelsea's starting lineup, I think they will fight for the championship against City. Now for third place, I think this is fair to say from the performance they shown last season, it is Man United. They just signed Jadon Sancho. I think that's the big signing from Man United, right? Cavani is on form. They got Bruno Fernandes. Bruno just can't stop scoring. So. I think with that performance, if they can perform better than last season, they are going to not fight for the first place, but maybe for the second place between Chelsea. Now, for the last place in the Champion League spot, it is Liverpool. Now, I know last season they were not performing at the top level uh, with the absence from Van Dijk, Joe Gomez, everything. The defensive just not in shape. But this season, both of them just came back and I think they signed a player Konate, uh, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but I think this season Liverpool has a big chance to finish in the top four. Now we are going for the UEFA competition from the fifth to seventh place. And a club that is going to finish on the fifth place is Leicester City. For the past couple of years, they've been doing really great. Jamie Fardy is on fire. They got Madison, Wesley Fofana, which is very sad because. I think he's going to miss this season, right? So that is a big blow for Leicester. But I think without him, the squad itself is very complete. So they're going to really, really fighting for a UEFA spot right here. Now for the sixth place, the last spot for the Europa League, I think it will be Arsenal. I hope, I hope we can finish in the top six and get the European football because last season was a disaster. Aubameyang just didn't show up. We were lack of creativity, but we signed Ben White, which is actually quite good. We still need to sort out the defense, uh, the midfield. We don't have any right back. If Ballon relief, we don't have any right back. We just have Maitland Niles and Cedric, I think. That's it, yeah. I mean, if we have to fight for at least the big six, the top six, we need we need better player than that. Come on, Arsenal. But you know what? I'm hoping for Smithrow, Saka, and Pepe to turn up this season. So I'm happy with getting the sixth place. Now, for the last ball for the Conference League, I think, is going to be Tottenham Hotspurs. Now, the reason why I put Tottenham this low is because 
the uncertainty between Harry Kane because if Harry Kane leaves Tottenham, I think this club is done because they don't have any lethal striker. They only have Son Heung-min, Bergwijn, I think that's it, and Brian Gill, the new signing. So if Harry Kane leaves Tottenham, they are going to be struggling this season. Now for the first spot in the middle table mediocrity, it is going to be. Aston Villa. I knew they lost Jack Grealish to Man City this season, but look at the signing they made. They signed Leon Bailey, Danny Ings, Buendia. That is a big signing, and I believe they're pushing for the European football this season. So with the squad they have right now, it is very much possible for them to fight for the European spot. But I think it's just not going to be that quick. So I'll put them in the eighth place. In the ninth place, I'll put. Everton, they just lost their manager Carlo Ancelotti, but they signed Rafa Benitez, which is very good. They've got a quality player, they got Calvert Lewin in front, deadly striker, they can score goal left, right, and center. And also, it's Rafa Benitez's first season, so I think they need still need time to you know sort some things out to you know get into the performance, the full performance. So nice place not very bad now for the 10th place i will put leeds united now i've been supporting leeds united for four years now i think they did really well last season marcelo bielsa is such a coach you know with all the tactics you know they considered a lot but they scored a lot too they win the game by scoring a lot than their opponents i think with the players they got now they got jack harrison they got junior firpo bamford um, Rafinha, if they don't live, I think they they're going to be a really tough opponent to beat. So tenth place, it is not bad, but it's good for them considering how they performed last year. I think they're going to maintain the performance this year. So tenth place it is for Leeds United. Now for eleventh place, I'll put West Ham United, considering the fact that last season they were struggling and Jesse Lingard really helped them to boost their rank up to the European football. Honestly, I don't think West Ham will perform better than last season. So eleventh place, I think they're still hanging on in the mid table. Now the last team that is going to be in the mid table is Wolverhampton. Now they have not been performing well since they got the top six with Nuno, Rui Patricio just left. So I think it's going to be a struggle, but they're just going to hanging on there. For the team that is going to end up in the thirteenth place is, I think it is going to be Newcastle United. They have been really struggling last season with the takeover, transfer budget, and then they just loan in Joe Willock. And I think Joe Willock is going to Newcastle on a permanent base, so that is going to be a really huge boost for them. That is pretty fair for Newcastle right now. Now for the 14th place, this is a surprise because I'm going to put Brentford. I knew they just got promoted, but look at the state of Evan Tooney. That guy is a lethal striker. He just scored goal left, right, and center. He backs 30 goals last season in the Championship. So that is like, even if the team don't perform, I believe Evan Tooney is going to score a lot of goals and take Brentford out of the relegation zone. Now for the 15th spot, I will put Brighton in. They don't have a pretty busy transfer window right now, but they just lost Ben White, so I think that's going to be a huge blow for them. But I think like it is pretty stable right now, so nothing much changed. I think they are still going to hang up on the Premier League. For 16th place, I'll put Watford FC. They've got quality player, the striker Joe Pedro. Uh, they got Troy Deeney in the midfield, they got Cleverly, Will Hugh, big player which plays a big part in their last season win in the championship. But I think this season of Premier League is going to be really really tough. So 17th, 16th place, I think that's fair for Watford right now. And the last club that is going to stay up on the Premier League is Crystal Palace. They've got quality player in their teams, they've got Zaha. They've got Eze in the team, very young player, but I think he's really promising for the squad. They got new manager Patrick Vieira, so I think they're going to back a lot of draw here. Now, for the first spot in the relegation zone, it is going to be Burnley. I mean, like from the performance of the last season, they just barely hanging on. They're going to get relegated this season. This season is going to be really tough, and they're not going to survive. In the 90th place, I'll put. Southampton. I mean, it's the same case as Burnley. I think they are not very stable last season. The main blow is they just lost Danny Ings to Aston Villa. I think last season they had a 10 games not winning streak. That's pretty bad. So if that really happened this season, 
they are not going to survive. And the last one, it is going to be Norwich City. I mean, for the last couple seasons, they had been a, you know, yo-yo club where they got promoted and then the next season they got relegated over and over again. I think Norwich next season they are going to go down to the championship again. So here is my prediction for this season Premier League. I think I'm pretty happy with this prediction. Anyways guys that's all for today's video. If you want to predict the table for this season make sure to drop it down in the comment section. I really want to know how you think the teams will perform this season. But anyways guys that's it for today and I will see you again in the final paper. Peace!